All right, welcome back. Uh, in this one, I'm going to talk about getting out of snookers. So some of you may know or have theories and ways to do it. Others, you may not. So this is for you. Here we go. Okay. So now with this one, we're snookered behind the red ball. We want to hit the yellow. We go from the white ball to the yellow ball. We find the halfway mark. We don't put our chalk there in the real game. We just do it in practice. We find the halfway spot, come around, aim, and then we hit our object ball. So again, best back here, and I'm closer, like that. I find the halfway spot. I visualize it, come around, and hit the yellow. It's the same thing, even if we're far away, like this, okay? So no matter the distance, we go halfway in between the object ball and the uh, white ball. So like this, find the halfway point, So no side, just playing ball, and then we hit it. So that's, that's a little guide on step one on how to get out of snookers. Here's the next one. All right, here we have a situation where we're snookered. A system that we can use. With this ball, this ball, this ball, let's start with this one here. If I want to come off two rails and knock this yellow, I'll start with lining up the yellow and lining up the centre of this rail, okay? So there's the centre of the rail there. All right, so just make sure I find the centre roughly around there. And then I move the cue in the exact same line across over the right here and then play plain ball. And that's how you get out of the snooker. So again, get rid of that. Put that there. Using this one. Line up yellow to the centre part of the table. Now we want to move the cue over, find the spot, dead straight, and then we hit that yellow. Same for this. Cue ball. Center part of the cushion, move it over, that's where we want to hit, there, hit down, and there you have it. So again, just quickly, just going over it, we're finding the center, of the yellow and then moving across and coming off that cushion, that cushion back into the yellow. And then again, center of the yellow coming across and then we're hitting the white, cushion, cushion, and then back down onto that yellow. And then again, Lining that up, pretty much like that. And then moving across, finding a spot, hitting, bang, bang, and then back down and knocking that in, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Should give it a go. 
and become an expert at it. So that's another way of lining up your two rails, or your two rail escape, and getting out of snookers. Here is another little drill you can do. Just set the white wall behind the yellows. All we want to do is pretty much come off a couple of rails, something like that. Snooker, snooker yourself behind the reds, and then do the same down here. And you'll start to find little, little key patterns and shots. All right, if you don't necessarily get a, a proper snooker, it's okay, it's all trial and error, but you'll start to actually get better at coming off certain rails. All right. You'll start getting better as time goes on of coming out off certain rails and snookering um, yourself again. And you'll start to see little patterns also. Um, Obviously where the white ball lands, it's always going to be different. So again, something like this. Okay, I can again, one, two, three again, or this way, you know, we can use that. We can use the system what we did before. So again, let's just say uh, I had a ball here. I can use that, that system, that center cushion system, all right? So let's just say we want to hit here, and then land here, and then up here. I sort of want to roughly hit maybe somewhere around here. So I aim for the centre there, I pretend there's a ball there that I want to hit. Find that spot. So you can see how, by using that system we did before, you can actually lay snookers back. So, as you can see, with a little bit of practice, you can actually start, you know, manoeuvring the white wall around the table a little bit easier. Again, down here, can do something like, you know, something like this. And then you just start, you just start finding different patterns, you know. Um, we can do what we did before, again, coming around here, or we might want to try something a little bit different, you know. Um, yeah, again, you can do it from this side as well, but you'll start to have a bit of fun with it, you know, maybe even this side, we can, we can just play a little bit of side, come around, and you really start to, you start to work out the pace of the table, or your own table, um, and start to get the feel of, of how you can actually maneuver that white ball around the table. So have a bit of fun with it. You've only got to do it for five or 10 minutes and you really start to understand. Like even if you put the white ball here, you play a certain shot and it might land here. So put it back here, play the same shot, but maybe move it over a little bit so it lands here. And then you'll start to understand the shots a little bit better. You'll start to understand how it comes off the cushion a little bit better. And um, yeah, should give that one a go. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that quick little demo on how to get out of snookers. I'm about to do a quick break and run. This time, I'm actually just going to fly through it, quickly run through what I'm thinking, quickly execute it, and uh, try and give you a little quick break and run. Here we go. <clears throat> Alright. Good fast. Straight away, we're on a red, yes. On a yellow, yes. What do I like better? I actually like yellows only because of this red here. So, this is a dodgy yellow as well, but I'm gonna roll that one in and try and land on this one straight away. Um, and I can use one of these balls to break this one out. That's the way I see it straight away. Or I can play, I could play yellow off the black. I'm just scared about that going in off, which we'll see how we go. This one, like what I said. All right, it's broken out. I'm on this one nicely now, so I'm gonna take it. It's 
It's good. Lay straight on that one. That's it. I just want to make sure I have a nice angle just past here so I can screw back down to here for the black. So, that's it, just past there. I can possibly take that one too and come out, but if I don't come out far enough, I'm in trouble. So, all I've got to do with that one is roll forward a little bit. And then I can easily just screw back to the rail here. Just like that, and I know I'm coming down here. And there you have it. Quick break and run. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one.